So your parents moved to Vancouver so that you could go for this dream. Yeah. My parents changed their, the, they changed their lives, but they made it very clear to me that they were willing to do that and wanted to do that for themselves as well. And they didn't want to miss watching me progress in hockey and see me achieve dreams, and they didn't want to miss it. Yeah. And, we, and they found, my dad found um, a goalie coach who ended up being one of the most important people in my life. He's my mentor. And uh, he took me under his wing and taught me about life through goaltending. Never before had anyone said in very bluntly, you are the son of famous people. What are you going to do about it? And th that was my, it was really my first introduction into, you're going to have to work your way out of, of this. I had to open my eyes up to what was really happening. And I was taking a BC kid's spot comes up as a circus act from California who is uh, Kurt Russell and Goldie Hawn's kid. Right. And I, he wants to be a hockey player in British Columbia with all the other. And so I had to, I had to prove through just putting my head down and not talking and, you know, just work and, and become good and become the best goalie in the league. That was the only way it was going to work. You have to become the best guy. I wonder what you think it was that, that made you so independent-minded and, and wanting to follow your own path rather than like the spoils that were waiting for you. Because the spoils that are waiting for you aren't spoils. There, spo there aren't spoils unless, spoils of war are earned through dying and b bleeding and death, right? Yes, and I think a very, you know, wise older person realizes that, but I don't think a lot of, you know, 15 year olds. It's just the understand. people that I was surrounded by. Yeah. And specifically my goalie coach, I think, Paul. He, it was very clear that the people that are being nice to you right now are not your friend. That guy who you think is being nice to you and is, and is rubbing shoulders with your mom and you know, being nice to your dad, that, guy's, that guy is your enemy because he doesn't want the best for you. He wants you to fail. And it was the truth. And it's very difficult to see for a 15 year old if you don't have that type of person around you. Do you remember an example of that where that became sort of crystal clear to you? There was a couple times of a person who, he was a person who I thought was, wanted my, my best interest in mind. A very unassuming guy, I think he was a teacher. And I found out uh, about six months after I started playing that he wasn't, he was the scorekeeper and he was purposefully not counting shots. So when you don't count shots on net, if you have 35 shots and you've only counted 24, my save percentage is going to be way lower. And what was his what was his Because point? I'm not a BC kid. Oh, so he Because just... I'm taking I don't deserve it. My parents are famous and they're rich. I don't deserve to have success. Wow. So, he's going to be nice, he's going to be kind, he's going to be the person who's giving me all of these things and tips and helping me with my and whatever. And I also, and, and then found out that he was like, you know, writing articles or giving information that wasn't true to the newspaper. Like my dad was always buying coaches houses for me to be on the team. God, it must make you so yeah. wary of, like it must, it must make you question every interaction you have when you grow up in an environment like that. It did, yeah. That was a problem. It, I had to get over that. I was very, very cynical at a very young age. But yeah. it, so it was, it was a constant struggle through your whole life to like, make what to carve out a piece of life for myself to call my own yeah. even though you do have privilege and you have all of these things everybody you need that you you got to have struggle you've got to find it and and, the, and a big part of it was nobody else cares about your struggle right and nobody should so don't think that that by you struggling that that by you showing everybody how much how hard it is for you that it matters it only matters to you. It only matters to yourself. Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, then why not subscribe? Click right here for lots more off camera. And if you want to see the hour long version of these conversations, I'm going to give you the secret link. Here it is, offcamera.com. Check it out.